Hey everyone and welcome back to uh, Volking. We're talking today about repellents and their use in the garden. Please like us on Facebook or Instagram and check out some of our videos on YouTube. So repellents have a long line of people that like them and don't like them and do they work or not. And what I've found in 20 plus years of experience in landscape industry is the repellents will work, they're repetitive, uh, they have to be done on a schedule and basically all they do is move the voles around. They don't kill them, they don't get rid of the problem, uh, and as soon as the application is stopped or not put down correctly, they come right back. Um, it's great for the repellent industry, but it is not great for the plants that we love and that we're just trying to protect. And so. When I, when I do use repellents, I use them in conjunction with volking. So we'll put our plants in volking baskets and then sometimes I recommend putting repellent down uh, during that installation to help uh, further move the voles out, protect the roots, and allow for a safe planting area that it, when the voles do come back, the plants are already protected and there's no need to apply new aggregate repellent or anything else. The voles will not live there and that's the whole point of volking it's to prevent that food source so that voles can't reproduce and make families and uh, it's a one-time application unlike a repellent that's going to be a season a year-long uh, constant application until the voles have moved and then they'll come right back once the uh, repellent is gone so i highly recommend sticking with volking and i also recommend using repellent alongside of the volking during installation Thanks guys, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and check out our videos on YouTube. Happy planting.